Welcome back to CS Tech Audio here. So this time we have another update. And of course, in this, this time we managed to connect to Fibaro with Victron. Basically the entire system from Victron is connected now into the Fibaro app. And from here you have control. And of course you can make some scenes, some rule based on your needs. In my case, as you can see over here, my entire home is connected into Fibaro, so I have full access to all devices. I can turn on and turn off different devices based on some scenario that I made. For example, let's select system PV. As you can see over here, the state of charge of my Victron into the Fibaro, uh, Fibaro app, it's uh, where is it? 88%. Also on uh, JX display, 88%. So this one, it's in real time. I can hit a refresh over here, so the system will refresh automatically. Basically, it's set automatically to refresh each three seconds. What do we want to manage with uh, this setup? Let me explain. First of all, we have the situation when you are in the middle of the night, you have a high consumption because your car is charging, your heat pump is on, and of course, the battery is not fully charged and the grid is down. So once the grid is down, the entire system will drain energy from the battery and it's possible because you have a small battery in few minutes in few hours to be completely offline so in our case we create a rule that integrate with fibaro and victron and basically once the grid is down and once the portion uh, the sofc state of charge of the battery is below a certain percent we want to turn off some loads so in my case i set up AC and uh, this lamp to be turned off once the battery is below 93% and the grid is down. So we write everything in Lua code, sorry, uh, hiding you some code, but uh, uh, has some uh, special data because the system communicates with WhatsApp. As you can see over here, when the grid is down, and the battery is below 93%. I want these two devices to be turned off. And of course, this one happened in real time because let's make a real life test. So the battery is below 93% and the grid is still up. So keep an eye on Victron because the grid will go down. As you can see over here, the main it's on. So the main it's off because also my system it's off. So in a few moments, I will receive a notification on WhatsApp and also a push notification that tell me that the grid is down. So we send information to our Fibaro. As you can see over here, the grid is missing. The battery is 88%. So this AC and this light will be turned off in a few seconds because we have a five second delay. We don't want to turn it off this fast. Of course, in our rule, you can select uh, the delay. As you can see over here, these devices was turned it off. And of course, let's silence this alarm. Our grid is missing. You still see, uh, see here the grid because I have a smart meter that is connected and powered by another source. So basically this switch from here is just for interior. So we don't have any grid. As you can see the main scene is off. The devices are off. Now, once the grid come back, let's wait a few seconds. Wait for Victron to synchronize. Yeah, 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 Victron make a test. As you can see the lights stay on all the time. So once the mains will be off, will be on. Let's wait a few seconds. Yes, the main is on. I will receive a push notification also and WhatsApp notification. And after that, after a few seconds, the system will turn on the AC. As you can see, the AC was turned it on. And of course I have a push notification that tell me that the grid is connected. And as you can see over here, the grid is here and the mains it's on. So this is the way we communicate with Victron and Fibaro. And of course we make this possible because we have a very good <laughs> uh, code writer here at CSX. So this is our solution that you can integrate everything in your solar system. And of course, in this way you can still have battery for entire night even the grid is down and even you have some devices that will be turned on so our code our system will disconnect everything that has high consumption and preserve the battery for backup emergency only so this was my video for tonight sorry for my english i'm not a native english speaker i try my best to explain you this technical stuff in english so if you want to see more video like this don't hesitate subscribe to the cs day hit the bell and of course i hope you learn something new from this video and see you in the next one Bye.